if you can't replicate results that already exist, it's just glaringly obvious that your product doesn't work. Today we are gearing up for a rather large new product feature launch. Unlike experiments, people often have surveys that they've run in-house where they can compare what they have to what we have. And if that doesn't come close enough, then it's basically embarrassing. We're still figuring out what exactly is the product look and feel that's going to take us further. I'm excited to see what people think about it. The problem is, if you run it in the simulation, this, even though our simulation is almost as good as human benchmark, there are still going to be cases where the survey results just look wrong. Do you think it will hold up in the system? There's only one way to find out. Today, I'm going to catch up with Patrick Sharp. Patrick is the founder of Artificial Societies. They're a YC-backed company. They are essentially like a testing environment for creatives and advertising. So essentially they're building like artificial humans and artificial audiences through reflected human behavior. Really, really niche, really cool. Very, very valuable, especially in our industry. You know, the industry that I've been in for the last six years. Do you guys all live here or? Patrick and I live here. The, those are our rooms. This is our commute. And uh, <laughs> Tom lives 10-15 uh, minutes away. It's like Lynn from Hackney. So yeah, Tom so that's why we picked the place to be around this side of the city. Is the video ready? Almost. I think Malcolm has just been finishing touches on the launch video. Ah, okay, right, nice. I imagine tomorrow at 12 we want to post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's a good thing to aim for, yeah. Good thing to aim for. <laughs> How do we feel about like releasing it tomorrow versus maybe a soft release to the user base first? Do we need to load test surveys though? No, I don't think so. Have we tested it? We've tested it, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like crazy load. Yeah, let me, let me see if I just like go to one. In a nutshell, what Artificial Societies does is we use AI to simulate groups of people and how they interact with each other. And people are using this for doing things like testing their marketing content or testing their emails or testing advertisements. Shortly, we'll, they'll be able to use it for running surveys. So effectively, it's, it's the market research space with AI simulations. Yeah, we can get it out on, I mean, the app, the launch materials, and are we gonna email people about the survey? Like our current users? Mm. Do we think the survey would like take people who aren't using it to start, suddenly start using it? I think Maybe. it might remind people might remind people yeah. and then a lot of people think that we are only doing social media posts testing yeah which is not great we have done that a few times so i've told them what they can do with it but yeah but not as focused on just one, like one feature, feature. Yeah. hey like you can now survey anyone yeah at no extra cost yeah yeah i think we should do it i'm happy to take that one great cool yeah I think what we found resonates most is authentic storytelling, telling the highs and lows of our journey. I used to work in an insurance company, nine to five job. I feel like I've managed to escape and now I'm living my dream. So I think that narrative lands really well with you for this well. I used to feel like I was on a roller coaster. My life was being carried for me. I wasn't driving it. Somehow now I've got a steering wheel. One of the cool things about being in a startup with three people is there's nowhere to hide. It's all about how you perform and you have so much input over the success of it. And that agency just really drives me every day. Today we are gearing up for a rather large new product feature launch. Previously, we've been focused entirely on simulated experiment. And these are all things where you, like, you write a piece of content, you put it into the society, and then you get feedback on that piece of content, just as you would like running an A-B test. 
What a lot of our customers need is something they can relate to as soon as they try the product. And often they don't have an experiment that they like have an immediate need for to run. It can be a little difficult for them in the onboarding phases to think about like an immediate value add use case for the product. Whereas surveys is a much more approachable way of of engaging with a simulation. Effectively, all, all, all you're doing is asking your audience a question and getting a response. So it's really easy for people to sort of get up and use it straight away. This is an artificial society where every single dot is based on a real person. So we get real data from across sources like LinkedIn, X, and web search. And then you can even have a conversation with, with every persona. We're about to launch this new feature called surveys, where you can basically ask your audience any kind of question that you like. So I'll show you how, how you can do that. The first step is creating a society that's relevant. In this case, what you can do is just in plain English, describe who you want to simulate. So maybe I can do startup founders in the UK. Europe and the US. And then what happens is we go to our database of 1.4 million personas and then retrieve the ones that are the best matches for that description. And so now we see this artificial society, they're all startup founders. And then in terms of our new survey tool, you go up here to create new tests and then you have the choice between a bunch of different types of question. And then we can go ahead and ask the question. And now what happens on the back end is we ask these survey questions to every persona individually, and then we get their responses. It's a really intuitive way of like interacting with the audience, finding out insights, and it's infinitely cheaper than running a survey in the, real, in, the, in the real world. And we've seen a lot of demand when we talk to customers for this kind of thing. They just want to talk to their audience and get insights. So we've built surveys into the platform and hopefully tomorrow, we're going to go live with it and launch it. So today is all about making sure we've sort of like ironed out the small bug, fi bug fixes and changes, getting all of our content ready to publicize it tomorrow. We think of capital as ammunition. It's very much, we want to preserve ammunition and use it sparely until we know where to shoot. Then you shoot. But before you know where to shoot, preserve the ammunition. We, uh, we spoke to a lot of founders. A lot of people feel like capital is like something that's just burning a hole in their pocket. They have to deploy it. Investors tell them to deploy it. And then they're like, okay, no, fine, I'll probably need to deploy it. But no, don't listen to investors. They gave you the capital because they think you know how to deploy it better than they do. If they think they know how to deploy it better, they will start a company. Uh, they are not starting a company and instead they give the capital to you. So you need to realize that, okay, I'm responsible for deploying that capital in a wise way. If you were to give advice, any early stage founder, early YC, maybe not even in YC yet. Yeah. What is one bit of advice you'd give? Enjoy it, because it's going to be hard all the way through. So you just got to learn to enjoy it. Otherwise you're going to give up. And yes. the most important thing is not to give up. On our cupboards, we try and write quotes and we kind of change them every now and again to keep them fresh. The moment we only have one up, which says expect good things. Basically, if you believe that good things will happen to you, then they will. Like you have to almost have like this like lucky person syndrome and just believe that you are lucky. Apparently people that believe that they're lucky were more likely to support money on the ground than people that didn't believe they were lucky. And so the more you just believe things are possible, the more they happen. And for us, we're not a rocket ship right now, but we just trust that if we keep doing good things over and over again, that good things will happen for us.